Hi, I wanted to share um, something the Lord revealed to me lately about when to get my rabbits. Um, I have a YouTube friend that she has pet rabbits, so if she doesn't want to listen to it, she shouldn't have to, but I'm not really going to talk about um, anything but what the Lord showed me with um, revealing to me when I should get the rabbits. Okay, well, I shared in a different video that... Back in January 2016, I had a thought um, that I should get rabbits um, for meat purposes later. Not my pet rabbits, but the offspring of. And um, because I live in a track home right now, but even if I have to be on the move or go to our property that we own elsewhere, that's just forest land, we could at least have a source of meat um, as well as hunting, fishing, and food that we have stored up. So I shared that with my husband and he wasn't in for the idea because he doesn't want to have to have any more animals or um, mess or have any kind of smell. But I would take care of them and so I just prayed that if it was God's will, he would soften my husband's heart and he would show me that it was his will and not just my own thoughts. So when I went to the pet store to buy some feeder mice for my son's snake, um, there was a raffle and it didn't, I didn't see the cage that the raffle tickets were for. It just said bunny barn and so I knew it was a bunny cage and um, the raffle tickets were a dollar and they were going to be having the raffle on March 31st, which was my birthday. So about two months later. And so I had the thought to buy five. So I, I bought the mice and then I also said I wanted five tickets. I paid five extra dollars and got the tickets and put my name and my phone number on there. And then they put them in their jar. Okay, well, this is the bunny barn habitat that they, this is the exact same thing. It looks small here. It's actually quite big. It's like, it's probably like three and a half feet um, by 20 inches by about two feet high. Um, well, they called me on my birthday um, on March 31st and I had prayed that if it was God's will, because I had the thought to buy five tickets, I said, okay, Lord, if it's your will, have me win the bunny barn, because then I'll know that I'm to get rabbits. And so on my birthday, they called and they said that I had won. So I picked it up, and right now it's currently in, my, in a storage room. Um, I didn't get any rabbits yet, so... That was January, that was March 31st, and now we're at the end of, now it's May 31st. It's been two months, and um, I had, I've been in a dilemma, like, when to get my rabbits, when is the last possible time that I should get them before, God knows when I'm going to need them, and where I'm going to get, I know a couple, my daughter-in-law knows people that breed rabbits, and so and I know of another breeder that's a couple hours away so I was just like I don't know when to buy them and start taking care of them and I also don't want to use this cage this would be for the babies um, when they're getting weaned because it's it's sort of a cheap cage <laughs> right here they sell it for $51.96 I'm sure they made more than that on their raffle tickets but I'm this is the one cage I'm looking at getting um, it's 48 by almost 20 by 41 inches high because it's two there's two um, cages in one and I want to get two of these so these are the ones that I'm looking at getting um, they can be used outdoors but I can use them in my office as well I'm gonna put two of those against one of my walls and um, those will be my pet rabbits and so I've been asking the Lord when I should get them and how many I should get and and when's the last possible date that I should get them. 
And so he's given me a few different dreams about the rabbits and I know I'm supposed to get two females and I also have seen two males altogether. I'm going to end up with six. I don't know where I'm, maybe I'll buy another one of these or, um, I'll keep, you know, a couple of the babies eventually. I don't know, but, um, eventually he sh showed me I'm going to have six. Um, for right now, I know I'm so I'll be getting, I sort of had glimpses of the ones that I picked out for, um, in my dream. Um, when, in one of the dreams, I knew that I'm going to get a, a tan female doe and a white on the head there wasn't much black on the head but white in the front and black and white spotted in the back doe female a black male and a gray male that's larger like this one but actually has black spots on the back end too i couldn't find a picture like that what struck out to me with this dream this was just a few days ago was that the gray male and in my dream, I, I named him Dexter or Dex. Um, um, the gray male was gray all in the front, like looked just like this rabbit, but around the, the shoulder um, and in the back, he had black spots. He had a big black spot on one side and then right on the side under his shoulder on his side, um, was in gray was the number 86 so he actually his spots actually made look like on this side look like the letter the number 86 and that night b before i had that dream i had prayed and asked the lord to like let me know somehow um when's the last possible mm -hmm. date that i should have my rabbits by um, because we don't know, you know, when things are going to go bad, the economy and when we'll, when we'll have to, you know, flee, when they will be, when will there be martial law? I'm sure I'm probably on the blue list, not, the, not the red, but I'm pretty sure I'm on the blue list. And so I don't want to be taken to the FEMA camp. I rather, um, battle it out, you know, hide out and help others and um, witness to others other than being taken captive. So die in captivity or by the sword, I'll pick the sword. <laughs> so, um, but the 86, uh, I feel the Lord revealed to me that that was the number of days I had left before I could get my rabbits. And that's, I live in the desert, so it's really hot and we have swamp cooler and we have air conditioning but we try not to run the air conditioning too much because of the bill so in my office if i have the door shut because of the dogs the german shepherds not bothering the rabbits um the swamp cooler is not going to be coming in here the room will probably stay you know 80 85 but hotter than that the rabbits don't like it so i was like i don't want to have the rabbits all summer and have it be too warm in the room that I'm going to plan on having them. So I, that's why I'm debating like not getting them yet and wondering how long I have. So he revealed to me 86 and that was May 30th yesterday morning, um, that I had the dream. And if you add 86 days, it comes to August 24th. So near the end of August. And so, by then, I feel I should have my rabbits. I should have gotten the cages, which I'm going to order um, pretty soon here, and then, you know, have the rabbits in their cages by that t before that time. I looked up also the meaning of the number 86, and the number 86 is only, um, it says this, it's, stands for Elohim, the name of God. And it's, it's profoundly integrated with the Tetragrammaton Yahweh or Yah, Yahweh or um, YH 
BH. Okay, and this is the name of God, and it's given in the first first verse of the Bible. Okay, Genesis 1 1 In the beginning, God or Elohim created the heaven and the earth. Also, when I looked on writingthebeast.com, the properties of the number 86 in the gematria and the occurrence of it, it says that the number 86 is used once in the Bible. And it says the word Lord in Hebrew gives 86 as its numerical value, Elohim, just as the word Elohim. I don't know how to pronounce these correctly, but um, uh, what is it? Pay Aleph Hey, um, giving 86 equals 80 plus 1 plus 5. The numerical value of Hebrew word, um, meaning Alleluia, and the other Hebrew word meaning plentitude or abundance, gives each one 86. So, Alleluia, God gives abundance. I thought that was a blessing. Um, because the Lord is going to bless me, I feel, for my obedience in um, getting my rabbits. And a while back, then he, I felt led to recap on Nehemiah 4 and then Psalm 18 to read that chapter with this video. I've shared Nehemiah 4 before and broke it down to show how the Lord helps helps his people be defended against the enemy <clears throat> and to over, you know not to be overcome by them so the wall in Nehemiah 4 when they were rebuilding the wall um, God helped his people um, he defended them against the enemy not just miraculously but by um, them banding together and working together to um, sound the alarm and to defend um, themselves from the enemy. So here down in Nehemiah 4, um, I'll start in 8. Well, all the enemies were very angry, okay, and all of them conspired together to come and attack Jerusalem and create confusion. Nevertheless, we made our prayer to, to our God, and because of them, we set a watch against them day and night. So God's people need to be prepared and they need to be watchful and be ready to defend themselves against the enemy and those led by the enemy. Um, that's what I felt led to share for whatever reason at the end of this video. <laughs> okay, um, then God, I mean, sorry, then Judah said the strength of the laborers is failing. They're growing weary and weak. And there's so much rubbish that we're not able to build the wall. And our adversary said they will neither know nor see anything till we come into their midst and kill them and cause their work to cease. So this was the enemy's plan. So it was when the Jews who were who dwelt near them came they that they told us ten times, from whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. They're coming everywhere. <clears throat> there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. <clears throat> Therefore, I positioned men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings, and I set the people according to their families with swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders, and to the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Do not be afraid. God is with us. He is for us, not against us. Amen. And they prepared themselves, and they were ready to defend themselves. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. And it happened when our enemies heard that it was known to us and that God had brought their plot to nothing, that the Lord had revealed their and the enemy's plan to his people so that they were prepared. Verse 16, so it was um, that, oh, that all of us returned to the wall, everyone to his work. So they begin to work again. So it was from that time on that half of my servants worked at construction, half were building, while the other half held the spears, shields, bows, and whose armor and wore armor, and the leaders were behind all the house of Judah. So half the people, half God's people in these end times, I feel, need to be working for the kingdom, sharing his, well, we all need to be sharing his truth and word with all with others 
as the Lord directs and brings people to us and we go out and um, seek whom we are to share that with. So half were working um, while the other half were defending. And I believe that in these end times when the enemy comes strong, tries to come strongly against the church, that's what we need to be doing is we need to be um, sharing and working, building his kingdom, and we need to be defending ourselves and um, be prepared. Um, it says here, 17, those who built on the wall and those who carried burdens loaded themselves so that with one hand they worked at construction and with the other held a weapon. Every one of the workers had his sword girded at his side as he built, and the one who sounded the trumpet was beside me. Then I said to the nobles, the workers, the rest of the people, the work is great and extensive, and we are separated far from one another on the wall. Wherever you hear the, wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us there. Our God will fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of the men held the spears from daybreak till the stars appeared. At the same time, I also said to the people, let each man and his servants stay at night in Jerusalem, that they may be our guard by night and a working party by day. So neither I, my brethren, my servants, nor the men of the guard who followed me took off our clothes, except that everyone took them off for washing. In Psalm 18, we see um, a Psalm of David um, who, sp who spoke the words of the Lord of this song on the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies around um, the hand of Saul. So David was just blessed by God's love for him and his protection. Even though David had failures, um, he wasn't perfect. None of us are perfect. But if we're if we have a heart to want to live for the Lord and serve him, and we repent of the things that we do wrong as David did and feel sorrowful for those things the Lord sees our heart and knows um, and knows it and he will be our strength and our shield Psalm 18 I will love you O Lord my strength the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my God my strength in whom I will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold I will, I will call upon the name who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The pangs of death surrounded me, and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. Then the earth shook and I and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His canopy around him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe, lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them. Then the channels of the sea were seen, the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from above, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He has recompensed me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not done weak, wickedly departed and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless before him, and I kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the merciful you, show, you will show yourself merciful. 
With a blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. And with the devious, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the humble people, but will bring down haughty looks. For you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on my high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies so that I destroyed those who hated me. They cried out, but there was none to save, even to the Lord, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them as fine as the dust before the wind. I cast them out like dirt in the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avenges me and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. Great deliverance he gives to his king and shows mercy to his anointed to David and his descendants forevermore. God bless you. He's with us, and he'll never leave us or forsake us. And I'll show you pictures of my rabbits when I actually get them. God bless.